We've all came through a lot of adversity and the team has always had the talent and the coaching to get there. It's just been trying to find a little bit. And I think something just clicked and we're finding the little bit that we need to win. Coming in, we, we had our head downs and we worked that whole week. It wasn't a lot of talking. It wasn't a lot of playing around. We, we got our heads down and we went to work and we decided that game was the game that we showed what we could do. It felt great. Our coaches always believed in us and we just proved to them that we could do what they believed that we could, could do. Offensively, we got so many weapons, you know. We got so many weapons. We, we got to spread the ball around and use the guys that we have. And now on defense, we're just clicking and moving fast like we know how to do, how we coach to do. It's a mentality, our coaches instilling us the mentality that we can compete with anybody on the field and just being humble and keeping our head down and working. We're just gonna continue to execute and work on executing. Nothing for us is changing. We're not changing anything. We're keeping everything the same and just working on executing. I think the, towards the beginning of the year, we came in thinking that uh, things were kind of sweet in, a, in a sense. Uh, we played Myrtle Beach pretty well at the beginning of the year, beat Timberland, which is a well-known two-way school. And we kind of got complacent. Um, but I feel like after those two, the first two losses in region play to teams that we shouldn't have lost to, um, we kind of just, uh, intensity changed. We started actually realizing that if we want to win, then we got to put our heads down to work. At the beginning, we were kind of down. We were just uh, listening a lot to the crowd, uh, listening to the people tell you how we weren't any good, we weren't, we weren't going to be anything, and then uh, we kind of got tired of it. We realized that uh, the only way that uh, any of that was going to stop is if we uh, did what we had to do on the field and did what we had to do in practice in order to change the change people's opinions about us. I think it was uh, mentally, there was a lot more intensity during practice. Um, in the games, there wasn't about a lot of complaining, uh, blaming each other, or when, when somebody made a mistake, we uh, picked each other up and just realized that the only way we're gonna be able to win is if we all work together. Uh, at the beginning of the year, uh, I was touching the ball a good bit. Um, the teams were starting to key on me, and uh, I don't think they really realized the type of weapons that we have all across the board. Uh, every single receiver in our um, staff is they can, they can make plays and then our running backs, it's, it's tough to tackle them, meet them in the hole. So I just think uh, everybody being able to make plays on their own and uh, not just one guy. We're just trying to keep the intensity, um, not trying to make the game too big, it's our homecoming, but um, we just gotta keep doing what we've been doing. If we try to do too much, then uh, that's when problems occur. So as long as we can uh, stay confident and just uh, keep grinding. Uh, the kids made a decision, you know, that, that, that they wanted to win. You know, there wasn't no, uh, no secret sauce, no magic to it. You know, like I said, we had a little three-game skid, a little snake bit. Uh, you know, King Street, we had a game-winning touchdown called back. EC, three players out, hurt, some some questionable calls. You know, uh, those things happen. Though. But uh, to the credit of our kids, you know, they, they accepted the challenge of, hey, we gotta we gotta work a little bit harder. We gotta work a little bit better. And they did it. And they took it to heart. And uh, when they came out that Mullins game, I think they proved to themselves what they're what they're really capable of. Well, we never had a doubt. Um, we know what this team's capable of. The kids know what they're capable of. Um, and they easily could have tucked tail. So, you know, we got two losses, the season's done. But they, um, they rose to the occasion. They knew the bag was against the wall. We told them we got to win out. Um, and so far, they've done that. And, uh, as you, you know, you see behind them, the kids are out there working by themselves right now, and they're working hard. We challenged them to find the two games that we lost. We told them, you know, whatever this is, you know, that's what we're missing. Um, and we challenged them to find it. And just from the opening kickoff, you know, whatever you want to call it, it was there. Um, we had everything clicking, special teams, defense, offense. Um, we got on Mullins early, and I think that gave our kids a lot of confidence saying, okay, they, we're here, this is us. Um, and then once we got that early success, you know, the ball just kept rolling our way. It's been an execution thing. Um, you know, Schematic Lou stayed the same. Coach Brogdon, RC, uh, Coach Graham, our running game coordinator, they've done a great job all year. Uh, Coach McFadden, our DC, is coming up with some great game plans. You know, make, makes my life a lot easier uh, having these guys on staff and just being on, hey, go do your thing. Um, but the kids have just executed, you know, they've, they've made they made a decision to say, you know, we're, we're going to play now. Uh, as long as I've been here, Lake City's always been known for their defense. Uh, we pride ourselves, we hang our hat on the defense. Uh, and, and this year, the offense said we ain't going to be outshined. Uh, we got a bunch of playmakers at different positions. Um, a big key to this year has been our quarterback, Amari Hanna. Uh, last year, we threw him in the fire as a sophomore, and he was a running back, a turn quarterback. Uh, but this year, you can tell he's getting more and more comfortable back there running the offense for us. And it don't hurt when you got a Shrine Bowler who's really a linebacker, but he runs the ball for us too, a north-south receiver. We got Trayshawn Burgess, one of the fastest kids in the state, who's Mr. Everything for us. And then we got a little, little joker number four, Ken J. Burgess, that you know doesn't get enough attention, but uh, just his intensity that he plays with, you know, it shows up on film, you know, the effort plays that this kid makes. Um, 
and everybody's bought into that on offense that it's just it's effort it's effort it's effort and how hard you know can you execute your play and then do it again next play and then do it again next play and the kids kind of bought into that mentality offensively this year and I think you can see that translate on the scoreboard the last couple of weeks for us it's one of them things you, know, you, you can tell the kids that you're blue in the face about what they're capable of but once they once they see it for themselves you kind of get that aha moment like you know coach you're right this this is what we are um, and then once they saw that they realized that that's the expectation for this offense um, you know we can get in a shootout with anybody we can keep it close with defense uh, but, but our kids on offense they pride themselves on putting up as many points as they doggone can every game. I wish we could have played it this week, you know, we got that we got that hot streak going. Um, but the bye week came at a great time, you know, this late in the season, you know, you get your bumps and your bruises, you know, so we get a little time to heal up. Uh, it's going to be a heavyweight fight next week. You know, Maine is undefeated in the region, undefeated all season, number one team in the region. You know, coach Kennedy, Hall of Fame coach, Shrine Bowl coach, uh, our homecoming, which is going to add a little fuel to the fire for them. Um, I know they got a Shrine Bowler on there and they got a North South kid on their team. Um, these are the games you play for, you know. They're the ones that, you know, you got to buckle your chin straps up because it's going to be a four-quarter battle.